Although your computer's processor is a single chip inside your laptop or desktop PC, it has independent cores that allow for improved performance with any application that features multi-core support. By default, multi-core functionality in Windows is automatically turned on, and all of your computer's processor cores are used as Windows Teams fit. With this, pretty much any resource-intensive software fully utilizes your processor's power, so there is rarely a need to manually configure the number of processors Windows uses. However, you may have to limit cores whether for software compatibility reasons, to test something out, or to do something along those lines. To limit core usage, type msconfig into the Windows search box and hit enter. Go to the boot tab and click on the advanced options button, then click the box before number of processors and select the number of cores you want to use from the drop down menu. Finally, click OK to save the changes you've made. There is some argument about whether you should enable all cores in Windows 10, but according to many experts, you should use all your cores available. However, since Windows uses all of your processor's cores automatically when needed anyway, changing the number of processors will not increase your computer's performance. Also, forcing all of your processor's cores to be active uses more power when thermal throttles your PC's single core performance. Limiting cores can also help save battery life, since reducing core usage can reduce energy used, meaning fewer charge cycles. However, if that's what you're looking to achieve, underclocking your CPU is a bit more effective and convenient. Just keep in mind that this will reduce your PC's performance. If you liked this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering Windows and other technology. And do not forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.